Hi, IT lovers of my classes. Welcome back to Web Edit, uh, but uh, partly in Visual Studio Code and partly in the browser because uh, VSA issue, uh, which uh, took me by surprise last week, is uh, persisting. And uh, seriously, I think that uh, it is conspiracy and racism. And I am tired of some bad hackers jealous of my work. I mean, there are so many tutorials out there. Why you guys uh, target me? Hmm? VS Code is uh, free for everybody to use. So why could I not? Well, um, now uh, that being said, uh, today after going through uh, VSC settings for investigation, uh, now the show preview seems to you know function again but i cannot edit an html file which is ridiculous in vs code uh, especially because uh, you can see on my previous uh, tutorials that uh, my uh, vsc uh, app was functioning very well and i could perform a couple of uh, different exercises on html i just wanted to go further in peace um but now uh even uh, linux like vsl and sql i mean nothing is functioning except um, bash and a uh, little bit of python and java but um i want to say that it's just a, a low blow you know black hackers keep your nose out of my beats and guess what wait it is a lot to avenge so be it. Amen. So conclusion today for our trilingual tutorial web edit uh, number three, part one. We are going to do what uh, we can do to advance in HTML and uh, in the, you know, dev tools of the browser or on program it. And then we are just going to move on with Python as we started last week. Come on, let's do this. All right. Now, let me just show you what I mean by that. Uh, you see... Uh, Python is functioning. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, for instance, uh, let's wait first on the, you know, on Python. So you see, apparently, even, uh, you know, it's not working here, Python, even if I have the extension and, you know, everything is installed uh, properly. That's why uh, I do everything on Bash. So all I have to do is uh, to write a comment here, you know, like, um, Python and the name of the file copy here Python uh, Python file 2.py down here in the bash terminal and I press enter here it's working so I can uh, definitely perform some uh, Python and also JavaScript you can do the same uh, uh, node uh, you know your JavaScript file and then enter here in the terminal of bash it's gonna work look when i uh, open our you know together created file i cannot edit it is going to show me a preview right here and this is not what i want so um, i cannot edit any html file i can open another one for you uh just for you to see that uh, you know that's just not normal and of course, I have all all necessary uh, extensions like, uh, you know, to edit uh, uh, VS Code, but nothing's happening. For instance, this one called practice Dutch HTML doesn't work. It doesn't even open. But this one, at least uh, I can see the preview and I can show you that I have the extension installed, you know, uh, on VS Code. I've been through the settings, as I told you, and, um, you know, even to change the browser where it should launch the preview, but it's still not working. As you can see here, the quick HTML, which is for edit and preview, is installed. I mean, I have everything. You can see that it is installed. And, uh, you know, when you click on the extension, you can see that it is installed. I don't have to install it no more. And I've been having everything for a while. Everything was working perfectly. This is what I mean. There is something strange happening, so I can't... Um, move on with HTML on here. I've been practicing uh, 
Python for a while now, as you can see. <laughs> and um, it's better we do it on uh, programming because it goes faster. I don't want to copy and paste, you know, all the time here in Bash. Um, let's move on. Before we uh, start, I just want to explain in three languages uh, what we are about to do for those who follow. Uh, let's start uh, in English first. Um, we are going to see this uh, HTML debugging, as I told you uh, last week. For those who don't know what um, debugging is all about, uh, please don't think uh, that the debugging is going to fix the issue in your code. No, it's only going to show you uh, where and what the problem is by stepping through your code line by line. Um, then you got to fix the issue yourself and then uh, re-debug to check... Uh, if it's good, so you can get the result uh, that you expect, you know, from your code. And then after debug, uh, showing, because we cannot practice it uh, here, as I did show you, HTML is dysfunctioning again in VS Code. And um, then after I show you that, because I have kept it in my favorite and blah, 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 I'm going to show you. We will go back to uh, Python uh, that we started uh, Last week, I hope you remember the Fibonacci and the string in the variable um, we performed last week. And today we'll do a, a simple numeric uh, variable example and also uh, another function, uh, including a dictionary. And then an if statement, we are going to do all that on programmist.com because it's easier. And now um, I'm going to explain what we're going to do now in German. Um, wir werden uh, HTML Debugging sehen, wie ich letzte Woche erklärt habe, aber uh, Visual Studio Code funktioniert uh, immer noch nicht, uh, wie es sollte. Uh, für diejenigen, die nichts über uh, Debugging wissen, uh, bitte denken Sie nicht, dass das Debugging das Problem in Ihrem Code beheben wird. Nein, es wird nur zeigen, wo und was das Problem ist. Es läuft durch äh, äh, ihren Code Zeile nach Zeile. Ähm, das Problem äh, muss man dann selber äh, beheben und dann erneut äh, debuggen, <lacht> äh, bis man das äh, erwartete Ergebnis erhält, oder? Nach dem äh, Debugging äh, kehren wir dann äh, zurück äh, zu Python. Äh, wir haben das letzte Woche angefangen mit Fibonacci und String Variable. Und heute möchten wir mal eine numerische und numerische Variable Beispiel und eine andere Funktion, einschließlich Dictionary und auch noch eine IF-Anweisung machen. And now I'm just going to c'est the same in French, more or less. Hein. Euh, nous allons donc voir euh, le débogage HTML, comme je l'avais expliqué la semaine dernière. Mais je vais juste montrer comment ça fonctionne, parce que donc euh, Visual Studio Code euh, déconne encore cette semaine. Euh, pour ceux qui ne connaissent pas euh, le débogage, ne pensez pas que ça résoudra euh, le problème que vous rencontrez dans votre code. Non, ça va juste montrer où et quel est le problème en parcourant votre code ligne par ligne. Mais vous devrez donc euh, corriger votre code vous-même et redéboguer euh, pour vérifier jusqu'à l'obtention du résultat attendu. Après avoir vu le débogage, on va poursuivre avec euh, Python. Hein. Euh, qu'on a commencé la semaine dernière avec euh, Fibonacci et puis euh, String Variable. Je le dis en anglais hein, parce que euh, je comprends mieux l'anglais, je travaille en anglais. Mais je parle très bien français aussi. D'abord d'ailleurs. Ensuite, euh, enfin aujourd'hui, donc après avoir vu ce qu'on a vu la semaine dernière, on va... Euh, ensuite, euh, enfin aujourd'hui, donc après avoir vu ce qu'on a vu la semaine dernière, on va s'exercer avec, euh, euh, on appelle ça numérique variable, dictionary et euh, une déclaration if. C'est ce qu'on va faire aujourd'hui. Ok, this is uh, 
let me just click it even if you know it's not opening it is called debug uh, file uh, with issue html so it doesn't work here but thank god uh, because i am the way that i am i have a lot of pages on my uh, fav and i did keep uh you know the debugging work but uh i'm not going to uh edit nothing i'm just going to show you because i'm not going to uh keep on fighting for html that's stupid right there uh but i have my pages let me show you here okay that was um you know when uh, vs code was still working i could launch um you know the preview gear and uh, you know practice the uh, debugging and i have kept it on my uh, uh favorite and uh i thought that i'm just going to show you how it works right now i'm not going to edit nothing um but this is how it works uh you go let me show you how you go there for those who don't know you know we never know so you go in your browser and you see the three little dots here where i have you know just above my picture so this is where you click you see and you go to a more tools and then to dev tools and this is how you land in the you know uh, where you can uh you know open uh some files uh straight the thing is that if you open your file straight here you are going to be able to edit but uh, you will not be able to preview your html you see but when you launch it uh, from um, vs code uh, you can edit and uh, preview but um, because i couldn't launch the preview from uh, vs code uh, i cannot preview and edit at the same time this is a page uh, which i have kept and uh, um, I'm going to just show you right now rapidly because I don't want to stick on HTML. I have done it before and uh, I didn't have the opportunity to show you as I wanted. So I'm just going to show it like this. Okay, this is um, the file called the debugger and uh, this is where you click so that you can start your debugging. Actually, you click here on your de document when you have a, you know, a button called click me for debugging uh, like this simple website. Um, and then it's going to tell you uh, what your problem is. Uh, for instance, here I have set the breakpoint on line uh, 47. Uh, why? Because um, there is a, an issue in the variable. You see console log fruits instead of uh, fruits. This is the issue. And when you debug, it's going to tell you, okay, look, post exception reference error free test is not defined it's a it's a mistake uh, you know made on purpose and now i'm just going to switch to the you know the corrected uh, file uh, you see when you uh, correct the variable then you get uh, in the console you will get the result you expect like i am a free t because the variable is defined mm -hmm. I hope you have an idea. I'm not going to get to go through it in detail. And here, when you launch it via VS Code, you can preview, as you can see here, and you can also edit. The thing is that uh, you don't have the same uh, intelligence as in uh, VS Code. All right, now let's go uh, to Python and uh, move on here. Okay, let's make a comment out of this one and start this uh, numeric variable. We're just going to write num uh, equal... Uh, Let's put a 79 dot, uh, I don't know, 14. And uh, we're going to get a plus uh, 6J. Uh, and we're going to print, um, let's print num so you can see that it's working. <laughs> this one is easy. We print num, of course, here. This is num. Huh? This is exactly what you did. You printed what you just wrote and of course you can change huh? you can go to uh, i don't know another number for instance <laughs> uh like this and we can get an eight here or nine let's put a let's put an eight okay and we run again all right so now we can move on we're gonna print the type so you can see what that is for a number it's not a traditional number you see this is um you're gonna see like this 
type num and it's going to tell you that it's class complex this is a complex uh, number and uh, this one is called the uh, real the first part and the second one is called imaginary but we're going to see that right now if we print um let's print like this let's get a print uh, uh, num dot real okay let me just remove the first part with a uh, print type and uh, you know i like to show it uh, one by one one at a time is better so when we print uh, the real part it's going to tell you uh, 8919 but then if we change here and we type uh, imag imag imaginary it's going to give you only this part without the j eight okay which is the second part of our num and then something else we can do is uh, we can uh, type the ID. Let me just comment this one. We can print the ID of the number. What I want to show you by that is um, it's good uh, to know that each time you're going to display the ID of your number, you will always get a different ID number. Like if I print a second time, it's going to print you another ID number. If you can print it a third time, it's going to be another ID number. Okay, we're good uh, uh, with the uh, numeric variable as an example. Next time we are going to do uh, some uh, operators, logical operators. But uh, I think that's enough <laughs> for the numeric. Okay, let's uh, comment some of these lines and uh, move on now. Here I can do it like in VS Code and, uh, you know, comment everything at the same time. Okay. Now let's start with our dictionary. Just a random one. And then we're going to do another one uh, in a definition now. Huh? Let's start with a dictionary, like this. And uh, we need to use uh, curly brackets, huh? the dancing brackets. And then here you can actually put whatever you want as definition, but it has to be unique. Huh? And uh, I'm going to take the single quote, like this, and I can put here, I don't know, the father, like this. And then uh, get a number two, a comma. And uh, here I'm going to put the, the sun. And here we're going to get a... No, I want a single quote here too. And here we're going to get uh, uh, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> How about that? Holy Ghost. Like this. The angels and, uh, you know, the saints. How about that? And um, you know what I'm going to do? First, I have to, um, I'm going to change the numbers. Like here, instead of uh, four, I'm going to get, uh, you know, just uh, getting the, the number in uh, disorder. Um, okay. Then uh, let's just print uh, first the dictionary. Yeah? Print the dictionary like this. And we run. Make sure we don't have any spelling checks. So we have it in disorder. Uh, this is the way I want it now for a purpose. Okay, let's print first the type. And then uh, it's a dictionary. Yeah? We run. As you can see, it's going to tell you it is a dictionary. Okay, now we can print uh, more like uh, we're going to print uh, dictionary gets uh, index number three it is the holy ghost like standing here as you can see it's a number three doesn't lie so we go further so now i printed also the dictionary index number two and also the length of the dictionary so let's do these three at the same time we run so we have uh, the Holy Ghost and the Father is the index number two, uh, as you can see. 
and then uh, as you can see five is the length of the dictionary because we have you know five points here you see actually they are called uh, <laughs> keys and not uh, points uh, but we're going to print that too so let me uh, first uh, show you the print sorted which is interesting that's why i did put the keys or you know the points one two three until five in um disorder <laughs> uh, let me just um comment this part so we can see it uh, let me comment also the two next okay now we can see the sorted part now it's going to sort you the work all your keys are going to be sorted uh, you know one two three four five in instead of two five three uh, four one as i typed it before okay this is what the sorter does and uh i want to show you also the the keys so i'm going to uncomment yes uh the two next and comment this one uh now let's first print uh, the keys so you can also have your keys printed and uh, they are going to be printed uh, you know exactly as you have given them two five three four one like here and uh, we can also see the values you know in the same way okay you see this is the, these are the keys and these are only the values the thing is that um you know by uh, print sorted let me show you again this is uh, important um print sorted dictionary you don't have the the brackets afterward the empty brackets but here you have them by uh, dictionary.keys and dictionary values don't forget about um, uh, these uh, two empty brackets here by keys and values or else it's going to give you an error right this is what uh, dictionary is this is uh, my personal example of course <laughs> all the people are going to show you their examples and so on and so on okay now let's comment all that and uh, we are going to do um you know a definition which is containing also a little dictionary i want to try here with you okay let's get uh, an example of a dictionary which you can insert in the function uh, let's start with uh, def get sound uh, of uh, animal some uh, curly brackets dancing brackets uh, we're gonna get let me close it right now and get inside what i want here i wanna let's start with the cat because this one is well known i'm gonna put that of course in a single uh, bracket and then we define it it's gonna make a, a meow huh? everybody knows meow like this like this return sounds dot get animal unknown first and then uh, def main and uh, and then if this is how we're going to code it and now we can check uh, if it's going to run as we want i just got it up here so you can see better we run it here and here it's going to give you enter an animal we can enter the cat to begin with and we're going to see our in output uh, the sound of cat is meow i uh, changed it uh, from uh, meow to uh, meow <laughs> because i think it's uh, better like this and now we're gonna get uh, the dog let's do it again dog enter the sound of dog is woof and uh, you know do the same for the cow and uh, enter it is mau or mu <laughs> and then we do the same for the last one the duck we enter and we get uh, the sound of a duck is a quack now i just want to show you that if you just omit the comma you're done it's not going to work as you want it's going to tell you um you see that uh, invalid syntax this is how you debug your your python when you um when you omit something is going to let you know what's up even if you put like a double comma like here 
Let, let us get to it's going to tell you the same thing invalid syntax so it's very important to put the comma at the right place okay this is how you can run a simple uh, you know function in uh, python including a dictionary all right let's comment all that and move on with the if statement oh i think i'm gonna remove everything because i like it uh, you know uh, on the top let me remove all that all right you guys you uh, know that uh, i'm selling uh jewelry is online on my uh, web page this is my website here for those who are interested and this is where i sell jewelry and this is what i want to talk about in the function so let's start with the uh, total uh, and we're going to get an input uh, with um with the integer so we're going to get first int and then input and uh, we're going to get a um, sentence here like uh, enter uh, the amount for jewelry oh well <laughs> jewelry items you know if they want uh, two or three pieces or four something like that enter the amount for jewelry items i hope it makes sense for you um and then we're going to get uh, the city you know right now i'm in switzerland so i'll talk about this city for those who want to buy my jewelries here but of course uh, if you are in usa or in africa wherever you are you can buy my uh, uh jewelries but i'm going to make an example with the city where i'm living right now let me put an input right here too and here inside i'm just going to get a um, enter your city uh, name let me separate this better in switzerland eh? like this switzerland like this and uh, i'm gonna get here colon and a space so people can answer so colon and space and then after this one this is when we start the uh, if statement like this if ct equal basel this is where i live and then i want an, another if for the amount of the jewelry eh? if total uh, let's put a more or equal uh, here i can get the number i want like somebody would buy let's say eight pieces of jewelry and then i get a colon so uh, this is what I want. Uh, shipping cost in Basel is going to be fifteen dollars. And if uh, if the total is between seven and uh, you know more than seven, like fourteen, um, the print cost is going to be less. Of course, this is what I want. Okay, this is what we got. Uh, other than that, like else, print shipping cost in Basel is five euros. You know when it's more than uh, fourteen. Uh, jewelry's order or else uh, print uh, invalid city name if somebody's like uh, you know from usa and uh, here it's standing basel here if i want another city like uh, in uh, houston we're going to do that afterward we're going to change a little bit uh, afterward okay right now the first input is uh, <laughs> not enter an animal that was the last uh, function now it's going to be enter the amount for uh, jewelries let's put somebody uh, want uh, 10 pieces okay then we enter the city name in uh, switzerland i can put bern huh? which is the capital and then uh, it's going to show you uh, invalid city why because i didn't put um, bern here here it's standing basel so this is for basel okay so if we run it again and we put um, let's say now uh, 13 uh, pieces and we're going to put basil exactly the same way as it is written here it's going to tell you the truth which is uh shipping cost in basil is 10 dollar um well 10 uh, swiss francs eh? <laughs> um you can change here and um you see here in my function I have dollar that's why and uh, if you have like uh, 13 uh, jewelries to order 
uh, the shipping cost is gonna be less but if i run it again and i put like um somebody would just uh like seven pieces huh? we enter uh let's put that in basil again because this one i want to show you the shipping cost difference uh the shipping cost is going to be 15 dollars because you know you order less uh, jewelries this is business you know <laughs> okay let's try it again with uh you know uh let's put um, 14 this time now the shipping cost in basel for 14 items is going to be uh, 10 dollars so what I wanted to show you is that uh, if you change here because you live in America, so you can put here, I don't know, let's put uh, Houston, huh? or it can be uh, any city. And of course, uh, you're going to uh, tell the truth here too, like in USA. So here we put uh, the int first, of course, and then we're going to put here Basel, like, you know, like you didn't change anything, <laughs> Basel. And you enter, it's going to tell you invalid city name. So it means you have to put what you type here. So I run it again and I put Houston and it's going to be something else. Like let's put um, Houston like that and not uh, all uppercase, you know, case sensitivity. I told you with Python. So it's going to show you uh, the good result, you see. But if you make... A mistake i'm just showing that to those who really have no idea about uh, python right now how it works uh, if i put like in uh, lower case like this houston it's gonna give me also an error because it's not written as it should be written here with uh, uh, uppercase h okay all right i think uh, for those who have no idea about python this is how you can practice when you have to learn by yourself when you cannot afford a school or you don't want to go to school no more for X reason, um, you can also learn by yourself. Of course, uh, it's a lot of reading, a lot of investigation. And of course, also, uh, you, sometimes you got to just watch uh, all the people's uh, tutorials to understand more and better. Okay, this is uh, enough for today. The rest is coming next, if God's willing. I hope you could... Uh, learn something new or I could uh, refresh your memory with something you forgot about. All right. God bless you. Bye-bye.